Can I get a Sima Kilo? Sima! We're here in Karunga on World Malaria Day to see the life of the PCV that lives here. Well, I'm Amy Burke and I live in Karunga. Um, I'm in the health sector and I'm doing work mostly with um, youth, female empowerment, and malaria. Can you tell us about the project you worked on uh, today? Sure. I did a world malaria project with a youth group that I'm working with called Chico Tayo. Victor is the organizer of Chico Tayo, and he's a big activist. He is a fantastic human being and a wonderful person to be working with because he's so enthusiastic and cares so much and so deeply and has wonderful connections within the community. Yeah, I'm, I'm Victor Mkumba, uh, working as an environmental health surveillance officer. Uh, after that time, I work as the director of Chico Tayo. So, Victor, can you describe the project that we had today? Yeah, of course. Um, today we had uh, that is uh, malaria prevention in the community. More especially, we are looking at the uh, measures of preventing malaria. We talk about uh, net washing, and we talk about uh, net repair, and we talk about uh, uh, sleeping under uh, insect treated nets. And we talk about the uh, pregnant women getting the drugs. We had a lot of people bring their bed nets for washing and repairing. Um, and we just sort of emphasized that with different songs. There was a drama. Um, and just talking about seriousness of malaria. Uh, those are the, uh, the projects that is being done currently with us and uh, our colleague, Amy. How big of a problem is it in Malawi? So the population of Malawi is about 14 million people. And so with 5 million cases that are documented per year, um, and so many people who are not going to the health center, it's a, it's a pretty dramatic disease that's affecting Malawi. The most telling statistic is that a child is dying every 60 seconds from malaria in Africa. <laughs> These activities today, do you think that they had a really big impact on the community today? Exactly. This is the first approach that has been happening around and people have started questioning what is happening and what is the intended of this purpose. Now after coming close and seeing what is happening, they are reflecting those activities at their homes because that activity has to be done at their home. In, that, in another way, it has also given us a task because the people come with pressure to say, uh, you, you said this and this, how does it go? Can you come and teach us how these things happen? So those who are, were not there, they will learn from others and they will give us pressure so that we can go and teach them how to prevent malaria and using the strategies we have at ground. We can only use our feet and legs. We cannot let it hit the floor. The ethos of all this is to teach the community, take the role by themselves in their settings or their homes so that they have to do that and prevent themselves from malaria. Malaria prevention is uh, the most viable measure to work against uh, malaria itself. Prevention is better than cure. Uh, when we have prevented ourselves from malaria, in terms of resources, income, and the, the complication that come when you have been attacked by malaria, we have a healthy person in, at the end of the day.